Hello, I'm Dan Williams, the Media Relations Director for the City of Cleveland, and this is the Bottom Line Upfront. In this week's Bottom Line Upfront, I will provide a brief history of the Cleveland Division of Police. On May 1st, 2016, the City of Cleveland celebrated the 150th anniversary of the Cleveland Division of Police. The history of police in Cleveland goes all the way back to our founder, Moses Cleveland. When he established our great city, he conducted a survey seeking to establish peace, quiet, and safety in the settlement. This act made him our first peace officer. Lorenzo Carter and Stephen Gilbert, early settlers in the area, were appointed as constables in 1800. The constable was responsible for maintaining law and order in Cleveland until 1836, when the area became a city and the city marshal's office opened. The marshal and his assistants were known as watchmen and they provided 24-hour police service that continues here in Cleveland today. In 1886, the Metropolitan Police Act was established by the state legislature, allowing the city to create its own police department, the Cleveland Police Department, which officially opened on May 1st, 1866. The Cleveland Police Department is now known as the Cleveland Division of Police. Other advances in police work came in the form of the Cleveland Police Motorcycle Unit, which first began as a bicycle unit known as the Sparrow Patrol in 1903. At that time, the streets were becoming crowded with both automobiles and horses. This squad was in charge of enforcing automobile, bicycle, street, and sidewalk ordinances. As traffic grew, the Sparrow Patrol traded in their bikes for a motorcycle. As early as 1911, motorcycles were recognized as an extremely effective tool for police work. The annual report at that time read, not only do they prove their excellence and efficiency in emergency situations when held at the station house, but in long stretches of our public highways as well. Among some of the more famous people who have served in the Cleveland police is Elliot Ness. In December 1935, then Cleveland Mayor Harold Burton recruited Elliot Ness to serve as the city's new safety director. That year, Cleveland was the fifth largest metro area in the nation and was considered to be the most dangerous city in the United States. Mr. Ness went on to spearhead a campaign that nearly eliminated corruption in the police department, brought the fire department up to modern standards, and instituted the latest traffic technologies that brought national safety awards to Cleveland. There are many other reasons for celebrating our police department, its 150 years of service to the community and to the protection of life and property in our great city. So. I ask that you pause a moment to recognize the 150th anniversary of the Cleveland Division of Police. Join me in thanking the Cleveland Division of Police and its employees for their dedication to the community for the past 150 years. The bottom line, May 1st marked the 150th anniversary of the Cleveland Police Department. Moses Cleveland, the city's founding father, established the first police department, which sought to establish peace, quiet, and safety. In 1886, the Metropolitan Police Act was established by the state legislature, allowing the city to create its own police department. The Cleveland Police Motorcycle Unit began as a bicycle unit and first called the Sparrow Patrol in 1903. In 1935, Mayor Harold Burton recruited Elliot Ness to serve as the city's new safety director. During the week of May 14 through May 20th, the city will also honor our police officers who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty with a series of activities that all citizens can participate in. You can find out more by visiting the City of Cleveland website. I'm Dan Williams, and this has been The Bottom Line Up Front.